of Pentecost, they were gathered together. Hallelujah. And as they were gathered together, there is some when the Holy Spirit fell upon them. And some saw drunkenness. Mm. There are some people that commented that they look and appear as if they are drunk. Mm. That means they missed the Holy Spirit, Pastor Jim. Mm. <laughs> there are some people that started speaking in a language each every and one of them could understand. Mm. They received the Holy Spirit. Amen. They were blessed with the new beginnings. Mm. They were covered when they were naked. When they were falling short, there was an arm to lift them back up. They saw a new beginning in a way, they experienced a new beginning in a way they never experienced before. It says that it wasn't any ordinary day, but the day seemed ordinary because they were just gathered together like we are gathering. Commemorating the day of Pentecost. To me it appears that Pentecost did not appear just on that day. Mm -hmm. They were gathered together to celebrate. If you read the history of Pentecost, there is variations of it. In 50 days after, after the first book, 50 days after the deliverance from Egypt. But there is one common theme that I want us to touch on today. It's always a beginning. Amen. Pentecost is always a beginning Amen. that involves the presence of God himself. Amen. That involves the presence of God coming down to say, "Hey, I am here." So I, I, I want to I want, I want to achieve a couple of objectives today. Before I get carried away, let me let me in my human flesh, we have five objectives we want to receive today. I will read these. Number one, I want us to learn today. If anything else fails, if your elder doesn't speak in a language you understand because of Pentecost. He is not drunk. <laughs> so before I get drunk, let me let me let me let me share with you what I, I we hope to achieve today. I hope to achieve that we all know that God is ever present. That's number one. Number two, I want you to also know that God is ever the first one there. In times of any level of vulnerability, God is always the first one. Amen. Number three, I want you to know that yes, sometimes God will rebuke us. God will sometimes punish us, yes. But this is only to his own glory, so he can have attention on us to redeem us from the sin of the evil one. Number four, I want you to know by time we leave today, by closing today, I want you to know something. I want to remind you that the serpent is competing for your blessing. Mm -hmm. and number five, the last one, uh, I presume. Though in his infinite mercy, I couldn't read my own writing there. He says, through his infinite mercy, Yes, God's grace is ever sufficient for us. Amen. That's number five there. Amen. And let me remind you something. He still brings his personal touch to us. Amen. He brings his personal touch to our wardrobe. I want us to pick up two verses today. Let's go back to the beginning. Genesis chapter 3, verses 7 to 8. And we just jump over and we go to verse 21. Uh, can, can, can somebody, does somebody have it for me? When you find yourself, amen. Uh, I brought you my uh, Bible from my music room back there. Well, did you give it to him? Yes, because he bought me this Bible. I always want to remind everybody. And I want to acknowledge, you know, I missed Pastor Jude. The presence of my music guru, Pastor Maramba. You know you have to acknowledge people that work for God. There is a good glow on you, Muzukur. I see it. You see, you you be blessed. You know, you be blessed. I, I, I became blessed when I you know working with God. You know, you know it, Pastor. Amen. So I want to acknowledge your presence and I thank you. I thank you, Muzukur, for being here. Um, 
my brother and my micro are also gathered here with me. My Musugul is gathered here with me. My pastor is gathered here with me. My, my mama is gathered here with me. Oh, yeah, mama, I love you. You know, you know I do. And I always look forward to coming to Atlanta. But now you visited me, you visited me more than I have visited you, and I think it's, un, it's unfair. We have to fix that. And Patrick is here, you know, I love my so good, right? So let, let, let us pick it up. I want us to read those two verses. Don't concentrate too much on them. Then I want us to jump to verse 21. This sermon was, was encouraged by my beloved daughter, Helen, one morning. But I did not know that God sometimes, he visits us and he speaks through us and he speaks to us in the most of the random conversations that we might have. Yeah. Uh, praise be unto his holy name. Amen. Let us let me pray for you. That way you can move with me where I want us to be at. I want I want you to, to, to loosen yourself. Free your mind up and, and, and just 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 free your loosen yourself up for the next 35 minutes, I think 30 minutes. Free your mind up. Spirit of the living God. Amen. I'm asking for your presence. Amen. In your infinite mercy, Lord. Amen. Open up our understanding to your word, Lord. Open up our understanding, Father God, for your own good. Amen. That your people, Father God, may learn from the book that you've given us. Amen. The book of life. It is nothing but goodness for us, Lord. Amen. So give us a new understanding, a new thinking, Father God, so that your name may be glorified through what we do. In Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, uh, uh, verse three, uh, chapter 3 of Genesis, verse 8. And they heard the sound of Lord God walking in the garden. And Adam and his wife, both of them, hid themselves in the presence of God among the trees of the garden. That is verse 8. But listen, they think they are hiding, but I want you to see what they have just did. They tried to hide. They were hiding from God. But listen, when they started hiding from themselves, the verse 7 said, Then the eyes of both of them, it, it was not just one, both eyes were opened, and they knew that they were naked. Sometimes it's good. It's good to have your eyes open, the passage. You know, when it's good to have the blessing and the wisdom to open your eyes sometimes. There's nothing bad with that. We're not going to concentrate because God did not call what they did sin. So I want us to clarify that. They opened their eyes and they both knew they were naked. They both knew that something was lacking. You see, let's, let's go ahead. And they both sued leaves. That means it was a corporate effort. It wasn't Eve trying to clothe Adam or, 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 or it wasn't Mother Pretty trying to clothe the elder. But they both sued clothes for themselves to cover themselves. Spirit of the living God, speak to your people. They opened their eyes to realize some nakedness within them. Nakedness in its own sense, <laughs> it, it's, it's something that, that, that is not quite, quite talkable. In its inward sense, nakedness is, is somehow private. Nakedness is sometimes intimate. Nakedness is that which you find within that nobody else can see outside. Hallelujah, talk to somebody. Yeah. You see, nakedness is, is, is personal. On the outward, nakedness can come across as, 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 as shameful and embarrassing. Amen. Mm -hmm. But on the inside, is something that you can discover yourself when your eyes are open to pass the truth. Okay. So, so let, move with me. Move with me. I want us to understand. You see, let, let's, let's read it verse by verse, not word by word. Sometimes. Both together, mixed up together. So they discovered that they were naked. But guess what they did? They sued themselves a covering from a fig tree leaf. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Take enough wisdom, Pastor Jerry, to pick out of everything that they had around them. Pick one by one fig tree leaves so they could cover themselves. <laughs> to me, I say, God, why in your infinite mercy do you want your people to understand their beginning from this mess? Why, God, today have you allowed or chosen or given Elder Henry the privilege to share the word on this Pentecost day? Amen. And you want me to speak about this? I say, God, you are a merciful God. Yes. I have to gather my loved ones today. Mm. That your word will fall on each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. That we'll find a new beginning in our nakedness. Mm. Pastor, we were talking about, let's find something within ourselves mm. that lets which, that takes us away from the presence of God. Oh, mm. oh, that you just want, what is the blessing? Do you want a blessing over your children? Do you want a blessing over your grief? Sometimes we get encumbered with, with those normal things. It's normal. Because if it was normal to fall, sometimes it wouldn't be here. So what is it? Where do you fall naked in life? I want you to travel. I want you to travel today. Travel with me. Do you pray for your eyes to be opened? Oh, God just loves you so much to open your eyes. Because sometimes God could have blinded them. So it was a blessing that their eyes were opened. God could have chose, have you ever seen nakedness when you, when you think you are clothed and you are naked? Mm -hmm. You could be walking, yet you are so naked. Mm -hmm. That is the most dangerous nakedness. Mm -hmm. the, the nakedness from within, Pastor Jude, is also very dangerous because it will eat you to death. Unresolved nakedness is suicidal mm -hmm. because it is both intimately dangerous and outwardly destructive. Mm -hmm. But Adam and Eve both chose a fig tree leaf to cover themselves with. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. They chose a fig tree leaf to cover themselves with. Mm -hmm. I serve a God, Pastor Jude, a living God that shows up and says, Elder Henry, where are you? Who told you that you are naked? Mm. <laughs> Who told you? Right. Because you covered yourself, didn't you? Right. So who, who turned around, Elder Henry, and tell you that you are naked? Because sometimes the serpent in his competition for God's glory, he will cover you with victory. Right. So you are walking around clothed but naked on the inside, Pastor Jim. Amen. You are walking around but you are lacking something. Comfort with unforgiveness sometimes. Sometimes you, you, you just, you are limping past a journey with something that you can just bring to the Lord. Mercy. You, you are burdening yourself with God's burden. Do you know we do that sometimes? Yeah. We burden ourselves with God's burden. Yeah. So we cover our nakedness with victory leaves. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God says, who told you you are naked? Where is your nakedness? You see, Adam and Eve chose to deal with it on their own. Because, number one, they chose a fig tree leaf. 
my 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 understanding of the fig trees, the leaf runs between two inches to five inches long. So can you imagine how much time it will take for you to make a covering of a fig tree leaf? Hello, <laughs> somebody. They chose a fig tree leaf. It only survives in temperatures of between 50. About, I think, let me let me see my notes. It survives within certain temperatures. I think between 65 to 70, it's a tropical plant. So what are we going to do in winter? <laughs> the fig tree leaf is going to dry down. <laughs> it cannot sustain cold temperatures. When, when the temperature would fall, what are they going to do? You see, when you choose to deal with stuff on your own, Pastor Come on now. you cover your nakedness, but yet you remain naked. That is the most dangerous thing you can ever pursue. Amen. As a matter of fact, a victory leaf passage would cures diabetes. Right. <laughs> you understand? The design in itself was not to cover a human being. Mm -hmm. So, do you see how sometimes the devil would want to make us comfortable in our nakedness. Amen. Then we hide from him who covers us. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the desire to do it on your own sometimes is, is laborious. I see it. The desire is dangerous. But my God says, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> and he's so merciful. Yes. Because he had to take Adam to admit his nakedness. Yes. You see, follow them. He had to take Adam to admit his own nakedness. Because he says, God, I'm here. But then he, it went past the covering of fig tree leaves. Because now he's not saying, God, I covered myself. He said, I'm here, I was hiding from him because I was naked. Mm -hmm. It took Adam to, real, to admit his own nakedness, Pastor John. Mm -hmm. Our theme for this Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Where are we lacking? Amen. Where is our nakedness? Amen. Amen. So it took Adam to admit his nakedness. Guess what God does in his mercy? Hallelujah. He says, he never asked more questions, Pastor John. I want you to watch my God's response. As we read verse 21, open up verse 21. He didn't, he didn't do too much. He says, He made for them tunics of what? He made for them tunics of what? Sinful. Tunics of what? Sinful. Come on, are we together, guys? Yes. When my God showed up, he showed up with what? He showed up with a Versace. You see, you see, let me tell you something. When my God showed up, do you know how expensive leather clothes are? Come on now, come on now, somebody. You know how expensive leather clothes are? Have you ever bought a, uh, a leather belt? Crocodile leather belt? Pastor Jude. <laughs> The first ultimate sacrifice was made Come on. to cover us. Now we don't have to worry about the weather. No. Mm -hmm. You see, you see, he covered us with something that is durable too. Amen. You see, leather. When you buy a nice leather shoe, yeah. you know you're gonna have it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> so there is durability to it, besides the price aspect of it. The, the one that I love the most is when I was reading about leather, it is weather resistant. Mm -hmm. And water resistant. Mm. You see, skin is, is it's resistant. Even human skin is Pastor Jude. When you are covered from the right source, mm, right? you are not naked anymore. Amen. Amen. When you allow yourself to be covered with the 
the right material, mm -hmm. you are not naked anymore. When you allow your vulnerability to be sustained with well suited, with well suited weather resistant, well cooled atmosphere, because God showed up in the cool of the day. Pastor Jude, do you know why he showed up in the cool of the day? Because he made sure that let me show up before this leaves with her. If he had took too long, yes. the leaves would have started falling off. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. It was intentional. I say a God that is intentional. Amen. Amen. Yes. He had to make sure that let me show up. Let me come, Grandma. And the ancient history in the ancient Hebrew says it was Lapash. Mm. He clothed them in Hebrew with a garment. Amen. You understand? Mm -hmm. So he fully clothed them. Mm. Even when you are lacking, my God will fully clothe you. Amen. Amen. He will fully cover you. Amen. Mm. My God, you are changeable. Amen. Uh, God came to us today in a way that sometimes it takes us to open our eyes. Amen. Pastor Jude, sometimes, let me tell you something. You sit closer to me, that's why you're always in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That, that's the problem with you. I love they it. You sit too close to me. <laughs> Father, I pray that you, 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 we understand something today. Amen. If I cannot do anything today, I want you to, to persuade you that if you see God, God did not come in and do too much. He came in and took care of his business. Amen. If you see in Acts chapter 2, as they regarded it together, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit came. And it fell on those that were willing to receive. Amen. Amen. It, and on those that were unwilling, they saw drunkenness. <laughs> they saw disorder. Mm -hmm. But if you're willing to receive the Holy Spirit, Amen. you will let that place covered. If you just open up your eyes and admit where you are falling short, yes. mm -hmm. uh, the Holy Spirit will fall on you today. Amen. And Pentecost was so instant. That's one thing I like about God. When He comes in, He comes in. You see, when God comes in, when He says, No, He comes in. And there is benefits. Amen. There is everything. There is blessing. Yes. Just let it go. Amen. Be, be, be call somebody and tell them you are sorry. It's okay. Amen. Call somebody and tell them you love them. It's okay. Amen. Pray with somebody. It's okay. Amen. Tell somebody, come on, let's worship together today. It's okay. Amen. Pray for them. Pray for each other. It's okay. Hallelujah. Admit your nakedness. That's the first choice. That's the first time. Amen. Amen. And then you allow the spirit of the Lord to get us. Amen. Amen. So I pray that God will bless us today. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this Amen. For your word. I pray, Father God, that you speak to somebody today. Amen. I pray, Father God, that your people will not leave this temple empty-handed. Amen. Amen. You know each and every one of us making this, Father God. Yes, Lord. Way before we even know we are naked ourselves. Yes, Lord. You 
know our nakedness inwardly. Yes. And you know our nakedness outwardly. Amen. Amen. Visit us, Father God. Yes. Fill that little gap with your Holy yes. Spirit. As your Spirit descend upon your people today, Amen. Yahweh. Amen. Cover that nakedness yes. that we yes. saw. Father, I don't want anybody to be left behind today, Amen. Lord. Amen. No one gonna see drunkenness, Father. But they gonna see your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. A change Amen. is coming, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father. Father, I pray, Lord. Amen. I save the living God. Amen. A God that answers prayer, Lord. Amen. A God that answers prayer now, not tomorrow. Amen. A God that showed up. Show up on someone today. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. I beg of you to show up on our children, Father. Amen. Show up in our homes, Father. Amen. Father, show up, Father God, Amen. in our workplaces. Amen. Father, show up in this ministry. Amen. Lord. Keep us together, Lord. Yes, Lord. As the Holy Spirit falls upon your people today, Amen. Father God. We are going to speak with one language, Father God. Because they all understood each other, Father God. They wonder this one is a Hebrew, but I can hear what he's saying. Hallelujah. Redeem us for your glory, Lord. So your name can be glorified. May the grace of our Lord Yahshua, Amen. The love of Yahweh. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every one of us. Amen. Amen.